The Song of Moses is a very important piece of the puzzle in understanding Bible prophecy. God gives emphasis to the Song of Moses at Revelation 15 and verse 2 and 3. There he says, And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass having the harps of God, and here's the emphasis, and they sing the Song of Moses. Now the Song of Moses is recorded at Deuteronomy chapter 32. It concludes the blessings and the curses and concludes the Torah. And so if we had lived during the time of Moses, it would have been the end of our Bible, kind of like Revelation is the end of our Bible today. The Song of Moses very well could be one of the most powerful places where God has been telling us about the end from the very beginning. The Song of Moses appears to combine the language of seals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 with trumpet 1, 2, 5, 6, and 7 and bulls 2, 3, 6, and 7. And so let's get started in verse 22. There it says, For a fire is kindled in his anger and shall burn to the lowest hell. It shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of mountains. Now it's very interesting that Jesus shared the same language in Luke 12 verse 49, 2,000 years ago, where he said that he didn't come to bring peace to the earth. He says, I have come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wished it were already kindled. And so 2,000 years ago, the fire wasn't already kindled, but Jesus was just wishing it were kindled. Now it's very interesting that in the vision before the seven trumpets, the angel takes fire from the altar and hurls it to the earth. And so could it be that when we see this language in the Song of Moses that this fire is kindled in his anger, could it be that this is the beginning vision of the seven trumpets? And could it be that this is the time that Jesus' wish comes true? Now once this fire is kindled in his anger, it says that it shall consume the earth with her increase. Is it possible that this is the same thing as trumpet number one, where hail and fire mingled with blood is hurled to the earth? And what does it do? It burns up a third of the earth, it burns up a third of the trees, and it burns up all the green grass. So is it possible that the Song of Moses here is incorporating the same language as trumpet number one? Now after it consumes the earth with their increase, it says it will set fire on the foundations of mountains. Is it possible that this is that incorporating trumpet number two, where it says something like a great mountain burning with fire is hurled into the sea and what happens? A third of the sea turns to blood, a third of the sea creatures die, and a third of the ships are destroyed. Continuing on in verse 23, he says, He will heap disasters on them. He will spend his arrows on them. They shall be wasted with hunger, devoured by pestilence and bitter destruction. He will also send against them the teeth of the beasts with the poison serpents of the dust. The sword shall destroy outside. There shall be terror within for the young man and virgin, the nursing child, with the man of gray hairs. Here the Song of Moses mentions sword, hunger, pestilence, teeth of the beasts. This is the same language we see in Revelation in Seal 2, 3, and 4. In Seal 2, we see a rider on the red horse given a big sword taken peace away from the earth. In Seal 3, we see a black horse given a pair of scales measuring out food for money, famine, hunger. In Seal 4, we see a combination of sword, famine, wild beast, and pestilence. And this is how death in Hades is killing a fourth part of the earth. That's a lot of people, by the way. It's very interesting that when we go to Ezekiel 14, verse 21, God refers to the sword, famine, wild beast, and pestilence as his four disastrous acts of judgment. Now in verse 23, he says that he will spend his arrows on them. Now this is really interesting because when we go to seal number one, that's what the rider on the white horse is missing. He's riding to conquer and complete his conquest. He's given a, a bow and a crown, but where are his arrows?
And so is it possible that the Song of Moses is revealing to us what his arrows are? Could it be that the rider on the white horse is shooting seal two, the sword, shooting seal three, hunger, shooting seal four, pestilence, and the beasts of the earth in combination with sword and famine? Is it possible that the reason the rider on the white horse has no arrows is because he's shooting God's four disastrous acts of judgment, sword, famine, wild beast, and pestilence? Now in verse 25, he says that he'll also send against them the teeth of the beasts with the poison serpents of the dust. Now we see poison serpents of the dust appear in trumpet number five where scorpions are stinging. And we also see poison serpents of the dust in trumpet six where serpents or snakes are inflicting wounds. Now back to trumpet five in Revelation nine, the Bible says that the locusts are released from the abyss and given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were to torment the men who didn't have the seal for five months, and it says that their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man, poison serpent of the dust. The stings were so bad, the Bible says, in those days men shall seek death, and they shall not find it. They shall desire to die, but death shall flee from them. And in trumpet number six, also in Revelation chapter nine, we see an army of 200 million released to kill a third. And the Bible says, for the power is in their mouths and in their tails. For their tails were like serpents, poison serpents of the dust, and had heads, and with them do wound. And so it's very interesting that when the Song of Moses refers to the poison serpents of the dust, that we see scorpions stinging in trumpet number five, and in trumpet number six, we see serpents or snakes inflicting wounds. Now Christians have been struggling with which comes first, the seals or the trumpets? And how do we stagger the seals with the trumpets? Could it be that the Song of Moses is revealing to us that trumpets number one and two will sound before the rider on the white horse starts shooting his arrows of seal two, three, and four, God's four disastrous acts of judgment, sword, famine, pestilence, and wild beast. And finally, in verse 25, God seems to indicate the feelings of those who will be living on the earth at this time. He says, there shall be terror within for the young man and virgin, the nursing child, with the man of gray hairs. So God describes the feeling of humans at this time as terror. Brothers and sisters, the Song of Moses is so important. This is the place where God has been telling us the end from the beginning. Might you be amongst those who are victorious over the beast, the image, and the mark, and might you be amongst those that's joining in this heavenly chorus, singing the Song of Moses.